Hey guys, welcome back. It is time for another TJ Maxx shop with me. I uploaded one of these a couple weeks ago and for some reason it really, it did really good. So we're doing another one here. Of course, I've been doing these for years and years on the channel. We go to TJ Maxx. We mostly check out the beauty section, but a little bit of everything. But you guys know I'm a makeup junkie, a fragrance junkie. So that's kind of the areas that I focus on. And I'm going to show you all the new stuff. Now in today's video, I'm also going to go to Marshall's because I noticed that Marshalls has some exciting perfumes that TJ Maxx didn't have. And I did, of course, buy some stuff too, so I'll show you what I bought at the end. But let me show you the exciting stuff that you can find at TJ Maxx right now. All right, so we do have a couple of new things here. It looks like I'm noticing some new foundations. Uh, we have this fun Lawless primer as well. We've been finding a lot of their lip stuff, so this is kind of fun to see something new. This is the Set the Stage Hydrating and Soothing Primer serum only $7.99 which is an awesome deal so they had a couple of those again the KVD good apple concealer and then here's a new foundation they actually have the Jouer essential high coverage cream foundation I haven't seen anything from Jouer for a long time but this is seriously one of the most full coverage foundations on the market it's kind of crazy it's $12.99 it's like this is something I used to like but now I just like more you know medium kind of buildable they just had one though in the shade shell I noticed a couple more MAC things too. This is a little mini strobe cream in the pink color, which this is such a pretty highlight. Let's see, this is $7.99. It looks like a little eyeliner from MAC. Oh, is this ColourPop? We have a ColourPop Flutter by palette. I haven't seen many of their eyeshadows lately. This is an older one too. This is for $9.99, really cute packaging. Lots of these Bobbi Brown highlighting powders. This is Pink Glow. This is a really pretty one, too. It's kind of like a pearly pink shade for $16.99. It usually retails for like $40, so I'd say it's a pretty good deal. Another color pop. They had this Crush palette. I remember when these mini ones came out. I think this was the first of them. Um, don't love their plastic packaging, though, because it kind of breaks a lot. But this was a nice, like, collection. This is for $4.99. I think this is the neutral one. I'll have to see if I can insert some photos um tons of these wonder beauty lip and cheek duos too the creams i think these were here last time too but they have a lot of those uh, it looks like they actually have quite a few of the good apple concealers now so we have medium 141 medium 131 uh, and then two of the 141 so a lot of the medium shades Found a couple more of those Too Faced Cloud Crush blushes. Still just the pink shade so far, but some of the other stores are getting them. And then there is some more Too Faced like restocks and new stuff. Like I have not seen this yet. This is a fairly new item from them, the Born This Way Concealer, the Ethereal Light one. They just have the shade Milkshake. This is just a more radiant concealer. This one is $12.99. They also have the original Born This Way Concealer 2 that comes in this like huge packaging that lasts forever. This is a really good one too. I kind of want to try this one again because it's been a while. But they have, let's see, Snow, which is usually what I do. Swan. So some of the lighter shades it looks like. Let's see. These are $12.99 each. That's a pretty good deal still because they're usually like $28. Tons of the shadow insurance as well from them. Um, they also have this. Oh, I might buy this. I've been wanting this. This is the Plump and Prime Face Plumping Primer Serum from them. I've been wanting to try this one because it looks really good. It's more moisturizing. This is $16.99. So yeah, I might actually pick that up. It says Fill, Lift, Prime, and Plump. They do have their original Hangover Primer too. I haven't heard about that one in ages. So lots of Too Faced stuff it looks like. The Catrice True Skin Foundation. This is one of their like best ones. It's so good. I don't think they reformulated, so I'm surprised to see it here because I usually don't see their stuff here. But if you do see this, I think it's a good one. But sometimes I'm iffy about picking up the TJ Maxx foundations. Let's see, this is for four at 99. They just had a couple shades in that one. Cool Cashmere and Warm Beige. We got a full size Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. I think this might be their older packaging. I know they redid everything pretty recently for $16.99. A Laura Mercier Pomegranate Blush. I love these. This one's $12.99. And then this is just their older foundation. They have a newer one out now. 
Here's another really good ColourPop find, the Lust for Dusk palette. This is such a good one. Oh my gosh, this is like neutrals, like warm neutrals. This is for $14.99. Kind of pricey for that, I think. Because I feel like it retailed for maybe $18 at most. And then they also have these, which were Target um, exclusives, I think, the Forever Floral. These came out pretty recently last year. This is only $7.99. Also spotted this cute little Monsters Inc. palette. I reviewed this collection on my channel and it was so cute. This is the Rookies of the Year palette for $4.99. I thought these were pretty decent actually and just adorable if you're fans of the movie. I did also spy this from Too Faced. They have the um, Floor Play Lash Primer just in the mini though. That's something I haven't tried yet. They did send me one so I'll have to try it and let you guys know. Um, this is $7.99 for just the mini size but sometimes the mini is just nice to kind of try it out and it's still like a $15 at least value all right seeing what's in the cases here look at all these mimic scents wow they have so many I know I've gone over pretty much a lot of these <laughs> in past videos so I won't do it again but you can look any of these up like on their website and stuff because I don't know them off the top of my head I, the only one I know for sure is this one's Kayali yum I think 80 is cloud 99 is like strawberry milk so I mean, they're pretty good. I really like them. They're $19.99 each. They got Flower Bomb Low to Perfume. I don't know if that's the original because I've never seen it say L-E-A-U before. So that might be a different version. They got a lot of the Juicy Couture plays and these like Pretty in Purple Oh So Orange. I've seen those at Walmart before. They're $16.99. The little play ones, they had a couple different scents. Those are $19.99, not too bad. I'm still on the hunt for clean, sparkling sugar. Let's see if it's over here. I've been seeing a lot of people find it, so I'm hopeful that I will find it eventually. There's little mini fresh creams from Philosophy. That's such a good one. Um, Juicy Couture Gold is my favorite. But yeah, just like a lot of stuff we've seen. I always go over the makeup too. I feel like it's kind of the same every time, but the Metal Mania Urban Decay palettes. Okay, I haven't seen this before there. What in the world? The Naked Reloaded. I've never seen that at TJ Maxx yet. So that's interesting. This is their updated Naked palette and it's very neutral. It's a really good one. I'm guessing it's $24.99, but I can't really tell But all their other palettes are. They have the Robin Eisenberg one back there. Um, a lot of Estee Lauder Double Wear foundations. Overall, nothing that I really see that's catching my eye right now. So, I guess we'll keep moving on. Moving over to like the decor, we got tons of cute mugs for spring over here. Lots of different floral and like tea sets and stuff. I did sign these adorable gummy bear bag clips. That would be so cute for like candy and stuff like that. These are $4.99. They have little cat ones as well. Oh, and potato chips. <laughs> How fun. They have some more like light up signs, like mirrors even. Oh, this is a really pretty mirror tray that you could put like perfumes on. They always have some really fun trinkets. Um, yeah, they have like a weird balloon art <laughs> animal thing. The loved one's cute, that one I like. And then they have a little heart too. This is really fun too. They have a cloud shaped little alarm clock. That is just really cute. Some disco heart string lights. Sorry if you don't like me showing Hello Kitty stuff, but I'm gonna show it because I think it's fun. But they have a little trinket tray too. That's in the shape of a Hello Kitty for $9.99. This is a cute heart little glass organizer. You could put like pens, pencils in. That one's $7.99. They have some fun new spring kind of makeup bags too. I just love all the floral print everywhere. This is a nice travel one that kind of opens up. I like these like see-through ones too. These make really good like pool bags, beach bags. And then like this one comes actually with two in it, which is fun. I like the green florals. This one's really cute too with the all over pink floral print. That one's only $4.99, but it is kind of thin. They have a bunch of these cow pack suitcase organizers this is a really good brand um but it comes with a bunch of stuff all these different like packing cubes and stuff these are 39.99 each they have different sets so yeah that's actually really nice i feel like i never use these but i probably should i feel like it would save some room in my suitcase but yeah this brand reminds me a lot of base 
I feel like they have very similar styles. Okay, next door we have kind of some random things here. Like this is from MAC, a Frost and Blur face primer. I feel like I've never heard of that before. That's $16.99. They also have this Lorac Pro Conceal Contour Palette. I feel like this came out a while ago. Let me know. I just have not seen anything Lorac in so long. It looks like it's creams, possibly. So you might want to be careful with that one just because creams always like go bad a little quicker. This is only $9.99. Okay, this is kind of a weird product. I don't know if you can see how like huge this is, but these are humongous. It says five flavored lip balms. So I don't know, are those really lip balms? Because those are insane. But that is absolutely crazy. It does come with the keychain and like an actual smaller one too. <laughs> this is $7.99 spotted another mini mascara here this is the kvd go big or go home i feel like they came out with one recently but that was like a tubing mascara so i don't even think this is their newest one but it's another mini size this is for 5.99 here's another fun color pop kind of oldie but goodie palette this is the whatever palette which i think was kind of based off of 90s like nude tones this is for 9.99 and they also had that Target collection that they launched last year, the In A Days palette. I thought this was kind of cool, but they have a ton of this Bioderma here. This is the combo oily skin version, but I still love and use this. Um, it's like a French brand. I use it all the time for like a cleansing water. If I really don't feel like, you know, washing my makeup off in the shower or anything. I just do like a little wipe with this or just do before bed um, just to get anything off, even on a no makeup day. It's my favorite cleansing water. There's no greasy residue. So, so excited to see that here. It's not the like original original but the oily skin one I mean still just as good and then they also have the soothing micellar cleansing foaming gel as well this is a three ounce size so probably like a middle size I feel like they would have something bigger than this this is $4.99 these are just too cute not to share you guys know I'm a sucker for all the cute designs but this is little boba hand soaps it just says boba and it has little beads at the bottom they don't really move though which it would be fun if they did kind of move around. This is $4.99. I think this is the matcha latte. And then I saw they have this juicy grape one over here too. It's by Asquith and Somerset. They make a ton of different body scrubs, but that was too cute not to share. Okay, they have so many more of those glass cups now. I've been showing them every time, I think, but look at these designs. I love the colors of this one. And then they have these gorgeous iridescent daisy ones. So pretty, which are $7.99. We have the iced coffee, please. And then this cloud one down here was so pretty. But yeah, they keep getting cuter ones every single week I stop by. I can't believe the sheer amount of water bottles that they have too. It's just insane. And since like Stanley got popular, now they start carrying so many different ones. But it's some super cute candles, of course, for spring. This was adorable. This is the Babe Cave. It's a vegan soy wax blend by Leoben Co. Let's see. This one is $7.99. Oh my gosh, that smells like that kind of smells like Sol de Janeiro. Oh, the 62 a little bit. Hmm, I might have to pick that up. I wonder like how strong it is. This one is so cute. This is by DW, of course, which is like the main brand they carry here. It's called Flower Market. But look at the lid. It looks like a little crochet piece. So cute. It smells so good too. Oh, look at the inside. That's adorable. I haven't shared any homework candles in a while, but I just saw they had a Sunday morning cereal, which smells like Fruit Loops. It's so good. You guys know I really like these. They are kind of pricey though, but they do last quite a while. This is $16.99. Then another super cute one. This is Giddy Up Cowgirl. It's by West Coast Candle Company. It's a papaya coconut, super fruity. I just love the packaging. And I've seen just a ton of room sprays coming out too. This one caught my eye. A fuzzy peach from DW Home. The candle brand for $5.99. It smells very good. And then this Sand and Fog brand has been coming up with a ton of stuff. I'm currently on the hunt for their body oils, but we do have room sprays from them. Okay, DW Home seriously has the best ideas for candles. I just saw these cute little honey pot ones, similar to those lip masks from like ColourPop with the Pooh collection that went viral. These smell so good too. I know DW Home is kind of iffy on like strength and lasting power, but I don't know, this sweet vanilla honey is delicious. I kinda wanna try it, it's $6.99. The mango milk pudding also smells so fruity and tropical. 
but those are adorable. I found another Kringle. I always get excited for theirs. This is gorgeous. A beautiful fruity fragrance. This one is $9.99. I have to always check out the blankets every time now because they always have such fun ones. And I found this adorable checker print strawberry one. It reminds me of a picnic. Technically, it's for a bed, like a bed sheet, but just like a big fuzzy blanket. This is $24.99. So I stopped at Marshall's, which I haven't shown in such a long time because they usually don't have as much stuff but i just noticed that they actually have better perfumes here like they actually have a few of the clean reserve sparkling sugar that i've been hunting down at tj max forever so we're definitely grabbing um this is like pretty new like sephora launched it i think earlier last year and i've been wanting it but i just haven't bit the bullet it's 49.99 for the big 3.4 ounce size they have a smaller one too for 34.99 I think probably the 1.7 and then I was really shocked to find that they have the flower bomb ruby orchid here um, which I have not seen at any discount stores that was their release a couple years ago I know they just came out with a new one so that's probably why it's here but this is the one ounce for it looks like clearance at 56 so that's a really great deal on that I'm really shocked to see it here that they have such better and newer perfumes I see they also have a bunch of these it cosmetics CC plus the matte version I don't know if they still make that one or sell it because I know they came out with a more recent one in the past year that's a little bit more luminous but this one is $19.99 they have quite a few shades in that one and I believe these do come with like the expiration date on it since it has SPF. But yeah, they have some pretty good stuff, I would say. I haven't been in a while. There's like a Bumble and Bumble lotion, I would assume, for the hair. Some Amika stuff. But yeah, definitely the perfume is so good. So Marshall's also had the sand and fog perfume oils I was looking for. Um, this Pistachio Dream one is kind of trending right now. It's actually a dupe for Kaoli, the Pistachio Gelato. This one kind of looks like it's been used but I don't know you guys. It smells just like it, it's $14.99. This jasmine cedarwood kind of reminds me of Baccarat and then the other two I'm not sure about. There's supposed to be a vanilla as well but this is the amber bloom and the violet sandalwood. I'm very curious to see what the texture is like. But yeah, I don't know if I want that one because it just looks kind of gross and like it's already definitely used. But let me know if you guys try them. But yeah, this one smells just like the Kaoli if you guys are looking. Marshall's definitely is getting better, I think. I feel like I never can find stuff usually, but I saw a bunch of the similar makeup that we just found at TJ Maxx, like the Too Faced stuff. This is such a cute blanket too with all these different colored daisies on it. I love all the daisy prints. If you didn't catch my last TJ Maxx video, I shared a ton of fun daisy things. Oh my gosh, this is cute. Little cherries with flowers. They had some fun pillows too, including this mushroom pillow, which if you haven't noticed, there is so much mushroom stuff at TJ Maxx right now, which is insane. But that's kind of fun. This is $16.99. They have a huge smiley face, big pink smiley face as well. I don't know why mushrooms are so popular right now, but it's like literally every aisle. There's a ton. Example A. <laughs> All over. There's been so much new Max stuff lately. I found these Glow Play lip balms. At first I thought these were their plumping ones that went viral last year, but this is a different formula. They just had the clear they just had the clear one called a Halo at me. It is $8.99. Also a little mini Mac Fix Plus restock too. You can always find this here. This is $9.99. Have tons of flower beauty stuff too, I've noticed. They have their light illusion concealer. I just saw one shade in porcelain for $3.99. But they also have this Heat Wave Luminous Bronzer. I feel like this brand always has really good stuff, but it's so hard for me anyways to get my hands on because they don't sell that Walmart anymore. But this is only $3.99. Let's see, here's a little eyeshadow quad. I know they have decent eyeshadows. This is called Petal Play. It's $3.99. And then they have this, which is the Pyramids. It looks like a little highlighting blush in rose glow for also $3.99. Here's yet another flower product. This is a lip mask from them. I've never seen this before. The Petal Pout Lip Mask. It's in the Sangria shade, which looks kind of fun. This is $3.99. So there is so much 
Flower Beauty if you're wanting to get your hands on it. Found the full size Fix Pluses as well here in skincare. This is just one of my go-tos. I especially love it just for, you know, wetting my eyeshadow brushes and stuff, but it's a nice kind of fixing mist. If your skin is looking a little dry, cakey, this will refresh it. This is $16.99. They have a new pistachio body butter here. This one actually is really cute packaging. This is one we found last week that was really good and I feel like these actually smell very similar it's both like a clear just like nutty yummy pistachio not too too sweet this one's kind of light I don't always like the body prescriptions line if they did come out with a scrub in this I would maybe pick it up but so far they have the pistachio cream body butter it does smell pretty decent and it's a five at 99 here for a lot of product the Pistachio Dream oils have finally made their way to TJ Maxx and they have quite a few so I can finally pick one up. Um, let's see, I, I don't know if they had this vanilla one last time too so I might grab that as well because these seem really nice, they're kind of the hype lately um, I've seen in the body care community. I did see as well, these look like Joe Malone dupes kind of curious it's by Olivia Blake London but yeah these look exactly like Joe Malone they have Freesia and Pear oh here's another one Poppy Noir this does smell like the Jo Malone pear one so that seems pretty similar because I have tried that I'm not sure what this one is duping but I'm not really a big fan of the scents in general but yeah, I thought that was kind of interesting. I'm curious to see if there will be more like that. But yeah, definitely picking up a couple of these oils today. You guys, they have a Dr. Pepper candle now. <laughs> we saw like the cola ones, the root beer. This does smell like Dr. Pepper. It's so good. It has like that slight kind of cherry vanilla. This is $14.99. It's a bigger candle than some of the other ones have been. But I thought that was cool. There's even more cute cups. They started making these glass little mugs too. The smiley face. Adorable. For $5.99. And they have a little mushroom one. And then I saw these too. These feel really good. They're kind of almost like that rubbery matte texture. It's very interesting. It says it is glass. And these are $12.99. But I really like these. I've been wanting a glass kind of reusable water bottle and then there's this style too but such cute designs right now for spring i guess denim bags are kind of coming back in style this year it's not my favorite trend i feel like i wear jeans too much to wear them but they have a steve madden one with the classic like belt strap this is 29.99 there's a lot there's a, like a black denim too or maybe this is a very dark navy they have some different like spring summer styles like this has that fun kind of straw like woven texture which is really cute this one's $34.99 this one too very summery woven material and they have this cute little barrel bag as well so I have a few bags of stuff to share with you that I picked up. I've been having some really good luck at the stores lately. First off, this is just random, but I bought this just pack of these ribbed, like cropped tanks just for like around the house and stuff. I feel like these will be so handy because I just get so hot in the house sometimes and I'm just like, especially spring and summer, I'm gonna want these to throw on while I'm just like running around the house doing stuff, cleaning. I just like to be in comfy clothes at all times. So I thought I would try these out haven't tried them on yet so hopefully they're good but it was $29.99 for three so ten bucks each I also bought this super cute little honey pot candle I did pick out this sweet vanilla honey because it was like a really authentic honey scent this has like a rubber lid on it it smells good I know the DW home candles aren't always the best scent throw wise but we're gonna try it out because I haven't bought a candle from them in a very long time this thing is so hard to get back on you have to like stretch it over it but i just thought that was so adorable i also picked up the Too faced plump and prime face plumping primer serum i am so excited about this find i've been wanting to buy this for a very long time since it, since it launched so i'm glad that i waited and i was able to get it at a pretty good discount 16.99 is not too shabby but this is basically kind of their newest primer it's supposed to fill lift prime and plump just to give the skin a more volumized and plump moisturized appearance here is the bottle on this one but yeah that is one of my 
favorite finds. I also picked up some Mac Fix Plus. I needed a restock on this. And yeah, I always love having this on hand. I'm oily, so I don't really use it for setting spray, but it is really nice to have um, just for a refresher during the day to refresh your makeup or just spraying on with my eyeshadows to make them go on more creamy um, and not mess with the product or the formula. This was a random buy, but I also bought this Sexy Hair Mini Hairspray. I always need mini hairsprays for travel, so I figured I would pick this one up. It was like five bucks, so. Not bad, I really like that uh, hairspray too, it's really good. And then lastly is the perfume oils. I am so excited about these. I was glad I was able to find the Pistachio Dream. These are by the brand Sand and Fog. And this Pistachio Dream, I think I mentioned in the video, smells exactly like Kaeli's Yum Pistachio Gelato. So if you guys have been wanting something to pair with it or you have one of the dupes, I've been talking about so many dupes for it lately. These are nice, they're kind of like, they feel like a dry oil. You don't need a lot, but they are really strong. So adding this in is really going to make that scent last forever. This is good, this is really strong. Um, you can also layer this one with the Mimic dupe, which is at TJ Maxx, but I'm excited about that. And then I also got the Vanilla Musk, which has Coconut and Nice Vanilla and Musk, which this one kind of reminds me of the uh, Nest Madagascar Vanilla a little bit. Yeah, that smells really, really similar. Yeah, it smells very similar. I feel like this is a dupe or maybe the Balinese coconut from them, but I remember their vanilla has a kind of coconut note to it. But this is gonna be perfect for spring and summer. So those are the two that I picked up and these are like the it product right now. So run and grab these if you see them. Last thing I picked up, this is open because I've been wearing it. This is from Clean. I'm so excited I finally found this. I was hunting forever for this at TJ Maxx, but I couldn't find it there. But Marshall's had it this whole time. So I picked up the Clean Sparkling Sugar. I was so surprised they're selling this. So I don't know, maybe TJ Maxx and Marshall's are just gonna keep on carrying Clean. This is one of their newer scents and I've been wanting it forever, so I'm so glad I waited. It smells so good. It's their sparkling sugar. It's just so fresh and clean and skin-like. It's beautiful. And it's only $34.99 for the smaller size. They did have the bigger one as well. I think of this as like Glossier U, but a lot more sweet and fruity. Like a sweeter, fruitier version of Glossier U, if that helps. I'm just good at comparing scents. Sometimes it's hard to describe notes. It says it's a fresh gourmand. I don't really think it's a gourmand, but that's just what it's described as. So, such a good TJ Maxx and Marshalls haul this week. They've been getting some amazing things. Hopefully our video pops off again like it did last time. I just don't know. Maybe it's the items featured, but like that video got 30,000 views. Sometimes my TJ Maxx videos get like 10,000, sometimes in between 10 and 20, so that one just really popped off. So hopefully that continues. You guys know I love to find you the best stuff. I don't like to talk about random things that aren't exciting, so that's why I do these like every couple of weeks. So anyways, I'm gonna let you guys go. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.